In this video, we're going to quickly cover how to generate an Android key store file using Android Studio. There are other ways to generate your key store, but this is the easiest way that I know of. First, you're going to need to get Android Studio installed. Then, you're going to need a debug build of your project. We covered how to do this in both PhoneGap and Cocoon in the previous two videos. Once you have a debug build of your app, open up Android Studio and choose Profile or Debug APK. From here, select the debug build that you compiled earlier. Android Studio will open the APK up, and you'll have access to all of its files. But we don't need to touch anything in the APK. All we need to do is click on Build, and then Generate Signed APK. From here, you can choose Create New which brings up this window where you can fill out all of the details of your key store. Key store path is the location where you'll save the key store file. Click here to choose where you'd like to save it. Next, we have password. There are two passwords created in this key store and you need to know which is which. This password is known as the key store password. On PhoneGap, you enter this password second under key store password. And the same with Cocoon. It's the second password, key store password. Make sure to enter a secure password here and then confirm it here. Next, we've got alias, which is just a way to refer to your key store. The alias is what we'll enter here on PhoneGap or here on Cocoon. Then we've got our second password, which is known as the certificate password. It will be entered here on PhoneGap and here on Cocoon. Remember which password is which, key store password and certificate password. You can leave validity to 25 years. This is when the key store will expire and no longer be valid. 25 years is the standard. Last, just fill out your information here. None of this information can be seen by users of your app. Once you've got everything filled out, click OK. That's it. Now we've generated our key store file, and you can click Cancel here and exit out of Android Studio. Now you can take this JKS file and upload it to PhoneGap or Cocoon and use it to sign your app so it will be able to be uploaded to the Play Store. You only need to do this once. You can use this key store file to sign all of the apps that you create.